huge morning. Adam and I did rock, paper, scissors. Who got the like springy little foldy bed? Who got the real bed? I lost, so I slept on the spring bed. But now Adam's making me oatmeal. See, traveling in pairs, there's a lot of upsides. I picked up this box of apricots yesterday for like 1.5 euros. It's like less than two dollars. They're all ripe. Heading out, day two, and the best news is that there's almost no directions today. We are literally on the coast, the coastal most road the entire day, probably 40 mile day, but the towns that we're gonna be getting into are just south of Agripoli, and if you look at that on a map, there's no large towns, couldn't find anyone pretty much even registered on couch surfing south of there uh, in that general vicinity. So odds are we'll probably hit up some uh, little motel or hostel thing that we find. Uh, so we'll pretty much just ride until we don't want to anymore. Now I feel like we're on a bike trip. We got amazing roads, we're right on the coast. It almost feels like PCH, the Pacific Coast Highway in Los Angeles. We have been riding for an hour and 22 minutes today and we just hit 20 miles. We're totally crushing it. I see the mountains up ahead, we'll hit them later. Negative, no lemon. Really? Yeah, it was something else in there. What was it? Cream stuff. Ah. Uh, we were stopping at this place to get uh, lemon slushies, but we'll have to go on to get our lemon slushies. We got our limonadas. I might ask them to put more sugar in it. Is it sweet? That's sweet. There's something about the ice, the lemon and the sugar. It's exactly what the body wants when it's riding all day in the heat. Okay, fueled up to continue. I think that's gonna be the staple snack. A lemon slushy with bread, peanut butter, and jam. It's the best. Uh, we got about seven and a half miles to Agripoli, which is a pretty big city, and then the mountains start, uh, and we'll take it from there. Check out what I found. Got some ripe figs. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. We're out here in the countryside now. It's totally beautiful and we found figs. It's good. If you're watching this, you're fully allowed to be jealous now of this trip because these are incredible. They're like, it's so hot out here that they ripened and then they're like a third dehydrated. So they're just so sweet and gooey and jammy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They keep coming. They're beautiful. This is legitimately lunch. I've had like 10 figs.
We hit the cliffs, hit the mountains, but they're right next to the ocean. This is maybe the most gorgeous cycling I've ever done in my life. Just hit mile 45 and we stopped for another limonada and to discuss will we stay here in San Nicola de Mare on the beach or keep going? I don't know, seems like a pretty nice place. We decided we continue for about 10 more miles being teased by the ocean until we hit the next town, probably find a hotel and jump in the water. Stay safe, bikes. We found a hotel. It was hard, but we did it. Yeah, gotta negotiate the price. Here's the pad for the night. Good stuff. I got the crappy bed yesterday, so Adam gets it today, although it's not that bad. And I get this big bed. We are so couch surfing spoiled. We, it took us like over an hour to solidify our hotel for the night. We went to two different places. We negotiated price, blah, blah. And then we finally found a hotel. It's just like a block up from the beach, which is awesome. We're paying 30 euros each for it. And it's really nice room, Wi-Fi, uh, you know, shower, air conditioning. And this is our third day of the trip. And the first two nights are free because it's couch surfing. So, so far our average nightly stay is $10. I'll take that. That's pretty good. So hopefully, you know, we'll couch surf as much as possible. But in towns like this, there's just no one on couch surfing. So you got to get a little motel. We made it down to the beach. It's like 430. We are just going to chill. We rode, you know, further, like 10 miles further than we did yesterday. So that was good. It was absolutely gorgeous. There are just mountains and hills in the back and then along the coast the whole time. It's so epic. Like today, I, like the, the GoPro footage, it doesn't do it justice. Like it's incredible here. It's just vineyards and rolling hills and fig trees and then just a beautiful ocean. You can like see down into the rocks. It's so clear. I just flew the drone, Adam took a nap down at the ocean. <laughs> we are living the good life right now and we're gonna go find some food. This is gonna be a struggle. Every single like little restaurant, they, they don't open until like seven or eight o'clock here in Italy. So we're like hungry, it's like five o'clock. We're ready to eat dinner and edit and go to bed. Um, but literally nothing was open. So we went to a supermarket and we got a big watermelon. 
Loaves of bread, tomatoes, you'll see. It's nice to get things done a little bit earlier. There's a chance that this will be the last clip of the vlog if I go edit downstairs and then shut it down from there. Um, but yeah, like the last two days, we've sort of been doing things pretty late. Like we get to a couch surface house, we have a meal at like nine or 10 o'clock, and then we hang out and talk. So we, I ended up going to bed at like 12.30 both, both nights. So right now it's way earlier than that. I don't know, six something, um, which uh, is gonna be good. I need to stay healthy, get my rest. Today was also the last day of taking antibiotics for my strep throat that I had. So let's hope that um, I stop taking the antibiotics and that it doesn't come back. That'll be good. And that's just another reason to get more rest. So yeah, day two was really awesome. Right, Adam? Yes. It was great. It's freaking gorgeous. Tomorrow's more of the same scenery, but a lot more hills. So that'll be interesting. It's just, it's absolutely gorgeous here. It's just big mountain rolling hills, beautiful houses, vineyards in the ocean. I'm loving it so much, uh, but definitely starting to get that afternoon bike trip, totally exhausted, mm -hmm. never appetite satiated feel, but I love that. I love being in this state of, of living. It's so good. Much love, Dream Extreme everyone. Thank you for watching our crazy weird life.